Previously, the girls flirted. I really like you. She just uses me. I'm not your girl. Do you think she's playing you? Possibly. She's playing all of us. And the boys plotted. I think things would be a lot clearer once the titties are out the way. That's beef. That's war. Tonight. Once upon a time, the lovely Danica was being wooed by a handsome prince. And so they married and lived happily ever after. Is the fairy tale over? Are you being played? Yes, I think so. You are being played. I would say yes. I don't lie, though. I told you this from day one. If you're playing a game, I don't really care. Who, me? Yeah. And nominations get brutal. There's game playing going on. She is a fake. I don't know what she's doing to the boys. She doesn't even like me. She's done probably the most wrong to me. She's playing with my emotions. I know what I have to do, but... Do it. Man up. I'm sure about it. And I'm gonna man up. And the uh, first nomination is... Dear 12, 9.35 a.m. Today, housemates will nominate for the third time. Julie has come to talk to Big Brother. Hello, Julie. Hello. I've, um, you'll have to excuse me because I'm not sort of, as they say, where I live come round yet. How are you feeling this morning? Well, I think I'll know better when I've been to the toilet properly and things like that. The nominations <coughs> are the only part of this um, whole Big Brother experience that I find difficult. The only part of it. I've got to let the survival instincts kick in. And often when I'm on the toilet, I can, I can think things through. So while I'm having a poo, I th I'm going to sort of start thinking about who I could best live without. Ten fifty-two a.m. Julie wants to get something off her chest with Ashley. I want one quick word with you, and I want a yes or no answer. Yeah. Are you being played? Just a I yes or no. I don't know. I'm trying to find out now. I'm just, I think so. Yes, I think so. That's what I think. Well, I'm going to be kind no matter what. Me too. Yeah. I don't like players. Yeah. Oh. Say family. That never happened, that conversation. Yeah, no, 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 no. Respect family. You missing home at all? I am a bit today, yeah. Missing it a bit, missing home. Are you? I miss a lot of things. Just like the simple things. Like being able to get a cup of coffee and... Mm. And then I feel like every time we're like out here, we gotta talk about something serious, you know? Like, oh, like... We've I, got to. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I do. You don't feel like you have to talk about something serious? No. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna ask you now another serious question. Right? And don't lie to me. I know you had a serious talk with your boyfriend before you came here. What'd you guys talk about? Me and my boyfriend. Well, it was just about, um... Basically, when me and him met, we met on, on very fun terms. We, I was single, I wanted to be single. I said, you know, I don't want anything heavy and full on. You know, I'm, I'm happy. Do you know what I mean? Because I, I wanted to remain single, but I'd met him and we were having a good time and, and whatever. And I said, so in the house, you know, I am going to have fun in the house and I'll never draw that line. And that's it. I figure. I told you this from day one. If you're playing a game, I don't really care. I'm just, I'm just here to have fun. Who, me? Yeah. 
No, I said, remember, I'm like, if you're like this nice in the outside world, like, remember? Well, yeah, but why are we dragging that back up again? As I said, you never know. You never know. Never well, know. I'm not here to prove myself anymore. I'm sick of doing that. Coming up, Julie needs an answer. I need to know whether you feel you are being played. And nominations begin. I just think she's playing the game really, really well. I do feel slightly awkward around her. I think she can shit stir at times. Eleven sixteen a.m. Julian is in the diary room talking about Samantha. The Daily Mail journalist. I can communicate with her, but there's an awful lot of "Are you all right?" I think Big Brother should do a montage of the Daily Mail journalist saying "You're all right, you're all right." That would fill a whole segment of your show. Julian, can you explain to Big Brother who you refer to when you say the Daily Mail journalist? Um, Samantha. Why do you choose to refer to her in this way? It's the one thing about her I can't get over. She is a Daily Mail journalist. I find that a real problem. So that's why I refer to her as that, just to remind myself that that's who she is and you shouldn't really trust her on that account. It's awful, really, because there are times when I really like her. But there you have it. Perhaps I should talk to her about it. I think they pay very well. Two pounds a word, I believe. So, um... Nice work if you can get it. Julie wants a private word with the situation. I think you've obviously gathered by now. I absolutely adore you. Like a, a mother, like a, a nana, whatever. Shit. Julie, all the cushions are wet, so I've put them out to dry out in the sun, all right? Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you very kind. It's a very busy area, isn't it? I need to know. If only you can tell me whether you feel you are being played. Nice top. Very quiet in between us, nobody else. Do, we, do I think I am? Eh? Yeah. No. Oh, yes a, or no? I'm running out of tops. You know, day to Because I love you. Yeah. And I wanted to stay between us. Take your time. Because I want the short answer. I would have no, say, it's even worse. I would, I would say yes. That's all I need. That's all I need. What a lovely day. Isn't it beautiful? It is. It stays like this. It's gorgeous. So I came out earlier and I was like, oh, it's... But you know how I feel. Yeah. And it's actually not. It's not of course like I do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's bank holiday oh, weekend, totally. So okay. Could go um, as far as I'm yeah. concerned, you're my boy. But I needed <laughs> the answer to that. Because... Oh, did she have a show? Yeah. Oh, I've started to feel that. Saturday. I don't like that. Eleven twenty-nine a.m. Martin is talking tanning with Prince Lorenzo. You know, I take my dad was quite dark, and then I take after my dad, and then my brother takes after my mum, who's fair-skinned. It causes a lot of problems sometimes when I'm working with continuity. You know, because if I'm like out you get too dad, dark. I get it's it really easy. Here. Yeah. But listen, we've got nothing else to do while we're here, have we? Right. No. So it's nice. Sit on the chair and talk? Yeah. <sighs> the situation is telling Samantha about his life in the States. <laughs> Where do you stay when you go to Vegas? Or is it very? Well, um, I think I'm banned from a hotel or two out there. <laughs> You're banned? No way. Well, well, normally, for like, I burned down the couch one day. It was only by accident. They let me in. <laughs> they still charged me 7500 for a fucking little couch. Oh, Mike. 
How many people were in the room there for that to happen? Oh, like probably like 30. 30, 30. Okay. 30. 30. Usually after the appearances, it's like a giant group of 30 going back to like And these the, are people you don't know, they just come back, you just go, you, 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 come back. I'm just like, yeah, I'm going back to my room. Once I start to leave my, the area, people just start to follow, like, can I come? And yeah. you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then you have security, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> And were they all coming on to you? Oh, of course. <laughs> you know, by groups, you know what I mean? They were like, we've never seen somebody bring back so many females since Clooney in one time. Since Clooney? Yeah. <laughs> in one time. That's really funny. Yeah. That's hilarious. Twelve thirty two PM. Today housemates will nominate for the third time. And it's on everybody's minds. I'm so nervous now. <laughs> Are you, or is this just me? Are you nervous, Julie? Of course. Are you nervous, Julie? Yeah. Of oh, course, yeah. yeah. Right here. That's yeah. normal. Good God, yeah. And I know it's only a game. But, <laughs> but we're a little ridiculous, fam now. isn't it? We're a little family, it's that's like why. It's like kicking out one of the family. Yeah. Harvey is the first to nominate. Hello, Harvey. How are you doing? Please, could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? My first nomination is um, Danica. Don't think she, she's consistent. Um, when she's cleaning up the house and flirting with the guys, it's, it, it, none, of it's, none of it's genuine. I believe she will do anything it takes to, um, to win the show, even if it means taking, taking anyone out and... I can't be seen to support in that. Not not my um not my type of woman, I'm afraid. She is fake. Big brother, my second nomination is Colleen. Since she's been um nominated, I think she's just trying too hard to win friends. And I prefer Colleen that first walk down the stairs. And I think she can shit stir at times. She's kind of stirred up situations involving the love triangle, i.e. with Ashley and Rian. And um, Danica in a situation, she's also brought um, she's also brought me involved, and she shits us and causes problems amongst other people, and then as soon as the problem's caused, she, she walks away. My first nomination is the situation. He still does things where I, I just think he doesn't think about anyone else. We're still not connecting on a personal level unless it's about his life. He doesn't ever ask about anything about mine because I don't think he's interested. My second nomination is going to be Sam. She reminds me of a wife from the 1950s, you know. I mean, the last thing I thought about coming in here was bringing dusters and an apron, and, and she did. And then last night she was saying, oh, I give my husband reflexology every night as soon as he comes home because he works so hard. And, you know, the thoughts of my husband coming in and me saying, sit down, darling, I'll massage your feet <laughs> while I'm doing sit-ups at the same time. Um, are beyond me. What do you normally do on a Sunday, Julie? Sunday roast, Sunday dinner. Oh, Sunday yeah. roast. So do I. You know, all of it. Whether it's lamb or rib of beef or mm. whatever. Yorkshire puddings. What do you wish for? Both carrot and sweet mashed. Rolf does all that while I drink gin. Mm. Do you drink gin all day? No, well, no. A gin and tonic? Do you like yeah. the first or second day? I just, no, no, I didn't. I never bet had gin and tonic. First or second yeah. day? Is it? Oh, yeah. I don't like it. Oh, no, babe, ma'am. I'm lying with you, but it's nothing in it. Oh, no, it's OK. Just in case your girlfriend thinks there is. No, don't be shit. <laughs> oh. I don't like this part of the game, do you? No one does. Rian is next to nominate. My first nomination is Martin. I don't speak to him as much as anyone else in the house. It's a bit awkward when I do try and get a conversation out of him because I feel like he doesn't really give me anything back to talk talk about. Just I just get short answers from him. 
and we just don't... I just struggle to have a conversation with Martin. My second nomination is for the situation. Outside, he was just saying that, oh, I burnt a couch down in a hotel, it cost me £7,000. And I just think, £7,000 is a lot of money for me and I don't want to hear you talking about burning a couch down and just coughing up seven grand. I work hard for seven grand. <laughs> My first nomination will be Danica. She's making certain housemates have feelings for her, knowing that um, he's not going to get nowhere. So my reason for nominating uh, Danica is uh, for playing games and trying to play games with everyone's emotions. My second nomination is real. I like her so much, but I think my time of the whole playing games is done. She's gave me wrong impressions. She's put me in awkward positions. She's uh, gave me false information. I'm a real guy and I stay to my word. And she's done probably the most wrong to me, but I'd love to see her stay. I'd love Danica to go. So that's my nominee done, big brother done. Two thirty-five p.m. Samantha is in the garden, unaware that two hours ago Colleen nominated her. I just want to go and get it over with, you know. I've been to the loo about. Well, I've got it over with, but I still feel shit. Yeah. Until it passes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You still feel. Oh God, I don't know if I've done. It's so grubby afterwards, don't you? Yeah. No, you just feel like a two-faced bitch. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I am two-faced bitch. Because she's fabulous. God. <sighs> Martin is the next housemate to nominate. My first nomination goes to Danica for being a superstar when it comes to flirting. Uh, I don't like what she's doing to the boys. I think she's breaking them up. I think she's playing one off against the other. She's upset the situation. And now, uh, last night, she was trying to pull Lorenzo. And uh, I was watching Mikey and I just thought, well, that's just not fair, you know. And uh, I just think she's playing the game really, really well. So she has my first nomination. My second nomination, it's really tough because it's going to go to Harvey. I really didn't like what happened w during the task yesterday. I think when uh, Shelley came in and made out she was a new housemate, she should, should have had more respect. Harvey has a, is a bit of a ringleader with the young kids and uh, they kind of follow what he says and what he does. And um, I didn't like the way that he was kind of grouping the guys up. So just adding those things up, I think my second nomination has to go to him, which uh, I'm not happy about because I really like the guy. The situation and Julie are mulling things over. they tired from last night. No, this is a hard day for me. I know what I have to do, but... Do it. Man up. I always do. I know. I respect that. Danica is next to nominate. OK, my first nomination will be... for Martin. I'm nominating Martin because I don't find him the most interesting and also I prefer to be around people that are a lot more lively. My second nomination would go to Samantha. Again, I don't find her the most interesting person to talk to in the house. I'd prefer to talk to someone else. Um, I, I do have a bit of a gut feeling that she doesn't really like me. I do feel slightly awkward around her at times. Um, and I just have a feeling, but I may be wrong, that she said that 
my job was immoral, but I may be wrong because I don't know that as a fact. My first nomination is Rian because she has a boyfriend outside and it's causing friction uh, inside the house with what's going on with Ashley. From the private conversations I've had with both of them, I think that Ashley is correct and it's part of a game. And quite frankly, I can live without that in the house. My second nomination is Danica. Michael has also spoken to me and confided in me. And I think uh, there's game playing going on there as well. Plus, she has a boyfriend outside. Michael is handling it very, very well indeed, I have to say. But um, I think it would be better if it didn't continue. And if Danica were to stay, it would continue. My first nomination, and I'm, I'm sure about it, and I'm going to man up. And the uh, first nomination is Danica. She's playing with my emotions, so to speak. And I know we're just friends, but I always see her, as we call it, jump and ship from, from person to person to person to person, as well as... I, I feel like she's playing with maybe others' emotions as well, mainly Mal's and um, AKA Prince, and um, in order to sway people's opinions. And unfortunately, as much as it hurts me to say, I guess she's not the right girl for me, and uh, maybe there's another um, British girl out there, which I seem to love so much. <laughs> My second nomination, um, and I also don't want to do this, is uh, Prince Lorenzo. I've just been seeing some inconsistencies in his behavior, um, the duties that he does in the house, the people that he talks to, and I feel like it's becoming more of a game. As well as, um, I do not like Prince um, flirting with uh, the possible love of my life, who I also nominated, which... I can't believe I did, but she's breaking my heart as well. Coming up, nominations continue. I actually feel that he doesn't even like me. I find her a little bit self-centered. Dullness personified. And Prince Lorenzo and Martin Bond. I'd rather fly first class in a 747 than, than to fly in a private jet. Oh, me too. Absolutely. Any day. Three or seven p.m. Martin and Prince Lorenzo are talking about their jet set lifestyles. I'd rather fly first class in a 747 than, than to fly in a private jet. Oh, me too. Absolutely. Any day. Now, when you get on those uh, 747s, yeah. the top floor is a mixture of, of, of economy and economy I know. and uh, club. The one that I flew, it was it, yeah. was, up, it was upper class, up top, yeah. with economy. That's weird, that. Yeah, and I was like, I'm That's not. weird putting an economy right next to uh, upper class. Because the, the difference is kind of the Huge. contrast is extreme. Yeah. yeah. Samantha is opening up to Julie. I don't know if I told you, I, I lost everything five years ago. I had a TV company. Lost it what? I had my own TV company. Julie, I was on a six-figure salary. I had a house in Richmond. I had two Mercedes, one for the dogs, one for me. <gasps> I don't. You know what, yeah. <laughs> yeah I had everything. I had the walk, you know, the dressing room with all the designer gear. I lost it all. How, darling? I was the... Well, I've always been good at ideas and been the creative... You know, I'm, mm. I can sell ideas, I can mm. manage people. And I left the financial side to, of running the company to other people. No. Yes. Well, you've learned. Everything. You've learned the hard way. And I, put, I made all the daft business decisions. I put, I put all my own money into it. I put everything into it of my own. You know, I had loads of friends before. But when you do it, you find out. 
I could count my friends after that on one hand. And they're, yeah, you know, and they're still, they're still close to me now. But they were always will be. Yeah. It was horrible. Today is nominations day. So far, Danica has five nominations. Samantha, Martin, Rian and The Situation have two. Harvey, Colleen and Prince Lorenzo have one each. The next housemate to nominate is Julian. Our first nomination is Samantha. The yoga and the reflexology and the constant inquiring after people's welfare I find all a bit simpering. It seems a bit orchestrated to constantly be checking on everyone. And I'd like to think that it's part of her caring nature, but I'm not quite convinced. My second choice, which I don't feel great about, is the prince. Just for failing to maintain my interest, we had a long conversation about his Harley Davidson and it wasn't very interesting and uh, he failed to notice that I was glazing over and a lot of his talk like that is kind of is very sincere from the heart and he looks very cute but it's just kind of dullness personified. My first nomination is going to be um, Rian. I find her a little bit self-centred. Um, her world revolves around her, which is fair enough, but there are 11 people in the house and I think it's thinking about others as well. My second nomination is going to be Danica. I still don't understand what her job is with the website and um, th what the exchange is with men that she interacts for, for financial gain. So I find that with that as a backdrop and a massive question mark over it and how she is playing certain guys in the house, it just, it's not, it's just not a good vibe. It's not, good, it's not good karma in here and it's, it, she's causing a lot of disruption. With six votes, Danica will definitely face a public vote. Prince Lorenzo is the last housemate to nominate. Who joins Danica is all down to him. My first nomination is Julian, and um, I guess we've been here for for a while now, it seems, and I still don't feel like he's really interested in getting to know me. I feel that he um, doesn't enjoy talking to me, and I actually feel that he doesn't even like me. This one is difficult for me. I'm nominating the situation, and that's because he broke just the regular guy to guy bond and he spoke badly about me to Danica and I think when anyone goes behind your back to make themselves look better it's 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 extremely wrong I know that he'd throw me under the bus to get a girl he wants and that's not a friend Danica received six nominations Rian the situation and Samantha received three nominations each these four housemates will face the public vote Ashley and Julie were the only housemates to receive no nominations six or seven p.m. Rian is trying out a new look. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, His sunglasses. Try putting your hair through the back of the cap. That is so much funnier. The situation is telling Harvey what it's like being the situation. In Jersey Shore. What's the general atmosphere like now around, around there for you? Do you get a lot of love? Oh, yeah. Yeah. People, people are just crazy. It's like chasing you like yeah, fucking of course. Like Backstreet Boy type shit. Yeah, it's your city, isn't it? Yeah. As soon as I come out of here is when I start showing uh, previews for number six. The first week of September, they start showing previews. I was jacked. Talking like, like Rocky IV. I trained for 80 days for it, so I was jacked. The best I've ever looked. You, you train for 80 days? 80 days straight, twice a day. Wow. No cookies, cakes, Doritos, no, no, no snacks, no women. Wow. 
80 days. And not only was I jacked, but I knew how to, you know what I mean? So every time we go to the club, like somebody would like go like that to some, one of the boys, I'd jump right away, like whoosh, get, get my stance, like let's do this. <laughs> You're martial artist. I was ready, I was yeah. ready to get in, yeah, I was ready to get it in. Put your jacket and chat on. Yeah, I was ready to get it in, yeah, I think almost like, I think I'm on a, I can't talk about how many fights I got into, but whew. When the cameras are on and people see the cameras, if the cameras weren't there, you're getting love. No, like mad love. But if the cameras are, are there, you know what I mean? That means somebody's gonna want- Somebody want, wants to test you. Somebody wants to test you. And sure enough, boosh. You know what I mean? They go down on the cabins all the time. Six fifty one PM. Big Brother has gathered the housemates. This is Big Brother. The housemates nominated for eviction this week are in no particular order. <coughs> Danica. Rian. <laughs> the situation. How many more? Oh. <laughs> Samantha. <sighs> These four housemates will face the public vote. That's it. Can we go? Come on. Hey, no. Come on. <laughs> How many then? Is that four? Four. We're done. First stage of packing for you. <laughs> Come on, girl. Yeah. I'm not going to. Why you get the pretty girls out? I'm like, I don't get it. I know, I, I know exactly what's happened. I, I can work it out like that. I think, yeah, I think I've got it. You, you've got it down okay, to a T. I've not got Sam down to a T. No, not Sam, but I've got me and you down. Yeah. And I know oh, what's yeah. happened with that. Completely. But that's okay. To be honest with you, Ree, we've lasted a lot longer than we both thought. Oh, yeah. I'm so, not. if I just... If you go, though, I want to go with you. <laughs> because I think we're more like a double act. I'd like a double whammy. Together. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I honestly um, think if Rian gets evicted, I should go too. With you guys going, or if though. I get evicted, she should come with me. I should go with you guys. You're not fucking going. End off. So I'll cut the shit. You're not allowed to discuss. I've said you're not. Okay. You go through the motions, you do all of that, you will done. I know your husband would have loved to have seen you, but tough titty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nine ten p.m. Housemates have just finished dinner, which Samantha cooked. Whoever takes that away, balance, bouncing, bouncing acts. That was actually really good, wasn't it? It was nice. It was, right. it was very good. Yeah. Was very good. All of a sudden, I came in and everybody, uh, Julian. Oh, hi. Uh, who was in there? Julian and uh, and Ashley. They're like, oh my God, is it, is it burning? I was like, no, okay. guys, it's cooked. <laughs> thank you for everything you've done in the kitchen for me, anyway. Thank you. Yes, Sam, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Everyone very appreciates, much appreciate it. it. This is a blank glass. What's that? Do we have any more glasses? Do you, your wine? Do you want white or red? Uh, I'll get white, please. Here you go. Take my glass. 
Everyone appreciates it, Sam, you know that. Hey. Don't, I'll cry. Come on, <laughs> no, no, don't no. cry, you'll be alright. Got me strong in this house. Cheers, Sam. You alright? Don't make me cry. I'm not yeah. gonna make you cry. <laughs> but well done. Thank you. I'm doing what we would have done without you in the kitchen. I don't. I think it's worse. Well, you go. Everyone's going to start. No, I think it's worse when everyone's already nice to you. Just don't be yes. tired. That's it. That's what sets me up. Coming up. And there's going to blow a raspberry on Albert's inner thigh. It's a private matter if you could avert your eyes. Nine forty five PM oh. wow. For today's task, Big Brother has set Julian the challenge of telling his housemates a bedtime story. Big Brother has provided Julian with a picture book, which features his housemates and objects to include in the story. Are you comfortable? Yes, thank yes. you. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay. If Big Brother is satisfied with Julian's tall tale, he will win a very special prize. Once upon a time, in the countryside up north, lived a mature lady called Julie. Oh. Yeah. In a little cottage, all by herself. But she wasn't lonely, because she had a rabbit called Rampant. Rampant! Mm. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. In her front garden, she neglected a big bush, and her bush got more and more out of control. <laughs> oh. So Julie looked in yellow pages and looked under gardeners, and along came her gardener called Harvey. <gasps> oh. He had his packed lunch with him, and it was huge. Oh. 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 At that moment, the next-door neighbour, Colleen, <laughs> poked her head over the fence. She also liked the look of Harvey very much. Oh. And she asked him if he'd like to come into her greenhouse and squeeze her melons. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey was like a pig in shit. <laughs> Didn't know which way to turn and he was just lunging towards the melons when Colleen's husband came home, PC Martin Plot. <laughs> Harvey took one look at his shiny helmet <laughs> and quivered in his boots. Martin went indoors with his wife, Colleen, and he said to her, Do you know I've made love to every woman in this street bar one? <laughs> <laughs> Their daughter, Rian, appeared, famous throughout the neighbourhood for her iced buns. She was having a secret romance with someone called... <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Ashley was a badden. <laughs> always eating, always with his mouth full of nuts, which we spit all over the floor. And what was worse, he came from Portsmouth, where, as we all know, the streets are full of semen. <laughs> they hopped on the ferry and they went to France, where they found a lovely chateau <laughs> called the Wet Beaver, oh! <laughs> where the landlady Sam couldn't do enough for them. <laughs> they spent a lovely night together, and in the morning, Rian could hardly walk. She was riddled with cystitis. <laughs> Downstairs, they went to the breakfast room where they were served by the lovely Danica, and she leant over them with her jugs full of cream. <laughs> and she was being wooed by a local man called Le Situation. <laughs> he was from a local farm and he had the biggest cock she'd ever seen. <laughs> so she took hold of the knob and slammed the door shut. <laughs> She ran to the airport and got on a plane anywhere in search of romance and she landed in New York. Who should she meet within a day but the handsome prince? No. Oh. He said, howdy. 
How would you like to slip your finger into my ring? <laughs> and so they married and lived happily ever after. So very kind. You're very kind. One more. That's the end of the story. Oh. But what a happy ending. It was a yeah. happy ending, and wasn't it? So very good. Oh, so beautifully yeah. written and yeah. read. Did Reen get rid of the cystitis? Yeah, that cleared up. Okay. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's this is Big Brother. That's really well done. Julian passed this task with flying yeah. colours. Julian has therefore won the chance to get his hands on a lovely pair of puppies. His dogs, Valerie and Albert. Oh, no! 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 Oh, where are they? No! Oh, my where God. are they, big brother? Oh, Julian. Where oh, are they? My oh, oh, my God. Oh. You all right? Are you all right? Come on, come on then. Come on. That's so cute, man. Fucking hell, man. They must be baffled. Oh, Albert. You're going to be on television. What do you think Valerie and Albert thought of your performance in today's task? <laughs> They've heard it all before, Big Brother, frankly. They're sick and tired of the constant references to buggery and oral. <laughs> I'm just going to blow a raspberry on Albert's inner thigh. It's a private matter, if you could avert your eyes. <coughs> oh, it's all right, you can look again now. <laughs> Was that nice? Was it? Ten seventeen pm some of the housemates have the next eviction on their minds. To be fair, it has gone from five last yeah. week to four. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God, they've gone blue, the shame. <laughs> Fuck knows who's going out of them for. That's going to be an intense night, you know? That yeah, it is. That is going to be an intense that night. Definitely. That's a big night, isn't it? Because you've got Battle of the Beauties, you got... Jersey Sean and you got old oh, talking Madam Samantha who's just looked after us all like a diamond. After us all. I know. Samantha is talking to Big Brother. At first I was just stunned and I swore I'd never cry coming into the Big Brother house but I don't think I've cried as much as I don't remember the last time I've cried so much to be honest. It's really weird actually. Samantha, why do you think you had such a strong reaction? I think everyone thinks that I'm this hardened journalist, that I'm this writer who writes controversial pieces and gets off on it. Quite a few housemates have said to me, I bet you're going to write a really good article about this afterwards, and I wonder what you're going to write about this af afterwards. And actually, I just, you know, I just couldn't write about individual people in the house because... It's not fair, you know, everyone's been so vulnerable. I can see that people will still be very suspicious about me and still have their guard up, I would imagine, yeah. And I guess I didn't really realise that I would be so vulnerable and uh, teary about stuff, but it's real, I guess. This week, Danica, Rian, Samantha and the situation all face the public vote. Who steers, you decide. From a landline, call 0901 616 17.